Hello, hello, I'm back. Um, I'm gonna quickly do my makeup on camera as always. Um, I've been doing the get ready with me's more than an actual voiceover because it takes, it's a lot quicker to upload and I don't, yeah, I'm just really bad at editing. So today I think I'm gonna do a really like bright yellow eye with blue eyeliner because I found through, like I was digging through old makeup and I found a blue eyeliner so hopefully it's not dried up. But um, yeah, let's get started. So I'm gonna use my Total Control foundation because I need to use this up, um, even though I really don't like the formula. And I'm gonna just blend this all over my face. I guess I should try to... Oh wait, oh no, I forgot to... I forgot to use primer. Well, let's <laughs> take this off. I put some oil on my face before this because I feel like um, makeup goes on a lot better when you're really moisturized and also um, this particular foundation is super drying on my skin so I'm just using the elf um, poreless face primer <laughs> today is Friday and tomorrow we're leaving to go to st. Louis and so I've made that pot roast I was talking about although I'm missing a few ingredients, so hopefully it comes out still. Um, I have to do some laundry, just like boring last minute get ready things. So recently, for the last I'd say like couple months, people keep on asking me if I'm pregnant, like strangers. So like, it started off with these like, I mean kids will do stuff like this, but these, this little girl came up to me at the park and like, slap my stomach and was like you're pregnant and I was like no and then her like friend or sister came up and was like yes you are and I was like no I she's like why is your stomach so big then and I was like oh I guess I really like food or because like what do you say to that and her mom was sitting right there and like just looked at me and didn't say anything like I'd be like oh my god I'm so sorry like kids say stuff I get it but like the mom didn't even try to step in anyways I was like shockingly embarrassed like I don't get embarrassed that easily in front of like I don't know, especially not in front of kids when I mean, I'm so white with this foundation um but anyway so that was like okay that was like a shocker for me but like I got over it and then who was the next person who called me pregnant someone else did and then recently one of my neighbors did like she came in like looking at my stomach and she's like, so are you expecting? And I was like, no, I'm not, like I don't understand why people, first of all, I think the rule is that until the person is like really clearly pregnant and like maybe mentions that they're pregnant, you're not supposed to say anything because it's rude. And I was like, no, this is just like the way my stomach looks. Anyways. It's like, an, I always feel embarrassed, but really they should be embarrassed because like what a ridiculous thing to like, I don't know, people should really be more careful. This foundation really doesn't blend well on my skin. I don't know if I'm the only one who has this problem with it. Because I, like people were so into this on, on social media. So when I'm in um, St. Louis, I want to see if Daniel's mom will um, either do, like, let me do her makeup for, for, and record it, or if um, maybe I could do, like, a my mother-in-law does my makeup, <laughs> which would be pretty funny. I feel, oh, my God, look at It's so white compared to my neck. This is horrible. It doesn't look so bad in person, but on camera it's ghostly. It's okay, I will bronze myself up real nice. Okay. Today, um, my so I live across the street from my parents, if you don't realize that, or know me. I feel like most people following me actually know me, so. Um, anyways, if you don't know me, I live across the street in an apartment, across the street from the house I grew up in, and my parents still live there. Um, so Felix, my son, gets to see them a ton. My mom's um, home all day, so I get to go see her a lot, which is awesome because I really like my mom. <laughs> and um, 
she's like my gal friend. But not like in that, we're not like, you know how some people have that like relationship with their mom where they're like more girlfriends than mom and daughter? We're definitely still mom and daughter, but we hang out a lot. Anyways, by the way, I just concealed with this CoverGirl concealer. It's called the Neutralizer. Anyways, um, what was I even talking about? I don't remember what I was saying. Um, oh, right. So, Felix gets to see them a lot, and we get we go over there every single day. But today, um, my parents are downtown for some reason, and Felix and I went to the park this morning at, like, 8 o'clock. And then, on our way home, he, like, led me to their house. Um, so we went in their house. I obviously have a key. And he has, like, a little kitchen set in there, but he kept on saying, like, I'm gonna, like, he kept on saying, like, cook, cook, which means cook. And so he went in, like, was, like, playing in their house, and then all of a sudden he wanted to go upstairs in their house, and, like, it was, like, a whole thing. And then he was playing in my mom's office, and they have, like, this little, like, fake bathtub, and then he wanted to go to the real bathtub. So anyways, it ended up with us, him taking a bath at their house, and then I didn't have a change, like, another diaper, so I had to carry him home in, like, a towel, and it was, it was a funny morning, but he took... A nap really early today so he's napping right now it's 11 50 this is early for him um, he used to nap this early but he stopped going to bed early I mean taking a nap early I'm still trying to adjust but he is doing it now which is nice everyone that I know keeps saying that they like the videos that he is in the best so they're like, yeah, you should do, you should have him in the videos, like, blah, blah, blah. It shows that, like, a mom, a stay-at-home mom can, like, do all this with a kid. But the truth is, is that I can't really do it with him when he's awake. I have to do it when he's sleeping. And, like, usually he wakes up at the end of my video. I need to blend that. Um, but if he was awake from the beginning, there's absolutely no way I could do this. Because he'd be knocking over my camera. It would be total disaster okay now let's throw on some highlighter I'm gonna use this little highlight from Sephora um, it's very it literally looks really yellow right now but I feel like it's not the right tone for my skin It's a really pretty eyeshadow, though, if you use it as an eyeshadow. Blend this. And then blush. I'm using a little sample blush of Frat Boy. I have the full size as well. I love the packaging. It's so cute. I need to learn how to edit a little bit better on my videos. I just figured out how to like link my page or like my um, thing at the end, end and then like promote my last video. I need to learn how to like link in like people are like oh and then like click here and like a little link comes up to like somebody else's. Because when I did the video um, where I wanted to give Candy Fox credit because I, like, her, she inspired me to do a certain look, I didn't know how to link her thing, so I just, at the end, like, her page comes up, too. I just, like, made it so you can click on hers, but I want to do it, like, in the video. So I need to learn how to edit better. Okay, so the face is done. It's very white. Although when I go back a little further, it looks less white. <laughs> okay, now... Eyebrows. I keep on forgetting to do eyebrows in my videos. Um, okay, I'm gonna brush them out. It's very hot in my apartment today. It's cooling down outside though, finally. I was talking to one of my neighbors when we were out walking and he was complaining that it's going to get like too cold and I'm welcoming the cold weather. I don't know 
how people come up with so many things to talk about while they're filming. I'm pretty boring. Maybe I should just talk about what I'm doing with the makeup. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going in on the end of my brow with this product. I'm using just the BH Cosmetics um, Brow Palmade. When I try to use the pencil kind, it comes off throughout the day. And I have really patchy eyebrows, so it makes it look even worse than just not having any eyebrow stuff on at all. Um, so I feel like this one's a little bit more waterproof or like sweat proof. I've been trying to think of Halloween costumes for Daniel, Felix, and I. I guess that was not proper English. For me, Felix, and Daniel. Um, and it's really hard because I don't want to spend a ton of money. It's I don't have a lot of money to be spending on Halloween costumes, but I want to have a fun costume. Last year, Felix was a little bumblebee. And Daniel and I were beekeepers because my dad has two real beekeeping suits because he has two hives in his backyard. Um, but I don't know what we're going to be this year. We're going to a Wizard of Oz themed birthday party. So I was thinking, well, maybe we could just do Wizard of Oz, but I don't know. Okay, I'm calling it quits on the brows, even though it's a little patchy in there. Okay, and primer for my eyelids. They sell um, some of the, I think Urban Decay has eyelid primers that are tinted different colors and they're super pretty. I think they have much better coverage than this eye primer that I use, but this one's pretty cheap and it does the job of at least keeping your eyeshadow in place. It doesn't cover up like veins and stuff too well, but I don't have that veiny of eyelids, so it's not too big of a deal. Okay, so... I'm trying to decide if I should. I think I'm going to put some white on my eyelids. Well, nah. Alright, if you were to do a base coat of white on your eyelid, like a cream, it would keep... Actually, I might have one right here. I just didn't want to get up. Um, it will make your eyeshadow, yeah, here, way brighter. So I'm going to use this NYX Jumbo Pencil. It's a crayon jumbo. And it's in the shade Milk. I like these pencils. They work really well. And I'm just going to draw this on. Oh, and you know what? I want to tape my eye again. So first, let's get this on. Basically, just draw in your lid like that. Doesn't have to be perfect, and we'll blend it up. I'm not gonna go too far out because I want to. I think I'm gonna use tape again today because I think that this will look better as a kind of more dramatic eye look, like a clean. The tape feels so nasty. I really hate it. As I said in my last video, they sell like things specially for this. That I'm sure are much less harsh on your skin. But 
they're probably expensive and I at least I think that these are even ish <laughs> okay so let's blend this out with my finger this is just making it so that the color will pop a little bit better They're really sticky though, so I feel like you have to put eyeshadow over, over the top. Okay. Now I'm gonna go in with my 120 color palette and it's um, BH Cosmetics and it's like the two levels. So. Ugh, I can't get the bottom level out. Okay, and I'm going to go in with a flat brush and start sweeping my lid with, ooh, maybe I should do this yellow. This is very yellow. Hmm. This is almost like green. It's so yellow. I want a bright yellow is the whole point. This is not a look that I would wear on an everyday basis. But it's definitely a fun, I don't know why, but it, I feel like it's going to look pop arty. Just because I always use those, like bright primary colors. I have to admit this is going on a little bit um, textury. Because I think that the jumbo eye pencil crayon is either old so it's not drying well on my lid. Or that is just the nature of it. And it's a little bit patchy and like lumpy looking. I'm taking it underneath just a little bit. Am I too far away? I hope not. Maybe I'll move it closer. I don't know if I can. Maybe I'll just sit closer. Move my mirror. For all of my first makeup tutorials, I tried to do it without a mirror. And I would just try to look in like the viewfinder and it's really hard to see. It's really hard to do makeup that way and for me. Okay, I'm going to use a clean blending brush, if I have one. I need to buy more brushes because washing them in between everything is annoying. Okay, I'm just going to blend this out. I also, I want to add a little bit more product to the end of my brow. I mean, not of my brow, to the end, like here where the tape is, because if it's not harsh enough of, of a line, if there's not enough product there, it will just look like I didn't blend it out and you won't get that like dramatic line. I told myself that the next time I film a video, I'm going to have my hair done in it. Like I'm going to do something to my hair, either wear it down or curl it or straighten it. And here I am again doing yet another video with my hair exactly how it looked when I woke up. I sleep on it wet. I think I hear Felix. Okay, this is a really easy look because it's just going to be two colors.
well, it's going to be one color actually, and then the eyeliner. Okay, now I'm going to take this Revlon Colorstay Skinny Liquid Eyeliner. And I'm going to line my eye on the top. Hmm, I think I should take off the tape. I'm going to take off the tape. And then I'm also going to just go in with my beauty blender underneath because it takes off a lot of makeup, the tape. I think he's going to wake up soon. Okay, now using the line that I've created with the tape, I'm just going to follow that to do the eyeliner. So I'm going to go, uh oh, my eyelashes got in the way. And once I've done this on both sides, we'll see if they match because they probably won't. But this would be the time that you'd realize that they don't match. Oof. I made that tie way too thick. can't talk during this. Every time I film a video I tell, I say that I'm going to buy a new memory card and I still haven't. And I st always have like two minutes left. The entire video is so annoying. They're really expensive though. They're so small. You would think they'd be cheaper. I don't really know what goes into making a memory card, so I shouldn't say they're cheap because, or I mean they're expensive and complain because maybe it's a lot of work to make them. Okay, let's see, are they even? They're all right. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm just going back to darken them up a little bit and straighten the line. I have a really shaky hand today. I had coffee again. I've been starting to be a coffee drinker. Oh no. Look what I've done. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to redo that. I'll just take a Q-tip with some uh, makeup remover and take that off and then go over it with my yellow again. I guess you can't open your eyes too wide until it's dried. Okay, let me go remove that and I'll be right back. Look who's up! Alright, so I removed the makeup and just fixed that spot up. And now I'm going to set my face. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to take a little bit of that highlighter I used and just with my finger go in the very inner corner. I look a little bit sickly in this makeup actually. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna set it. And I'm just gonna make sure I don't get this. Yeah, this is my makeup. I'm just gonna set it. Mama. Mama's makeup. Let me tilt it down so you can see this cutie. Mm -hmm. 
We'll nurse it after we get off, okay? Let's finish the video, right? Look, there you are, Felix. <laughs> You're in Mama's makeup video. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Pretty exciting. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, mascara. Okay, so now I'm just going to throw on some mascara. I feel like this will help the look a lot because the eyes are a bit washed out. Oh my god, I totally got the line on my eyelid again from the setting spray. I'm leaving it. Dad. I'm putting it on my eyes now, Felix. Eyes? Mm-hmm. You see? Mm-hmm. Mama. Yeah. Fake eyelashes would be awesome with this. I think fake eyelashes pretty much make any look better. I'm making my, when I, so, Daniel always makes fun of me because whenever I'm out in public and I'm like watching people, I'm super obvious about it. I'm just like, I just like stare at them. Um, and I kind of make that face when I'm putting on mascara. But Daniel always makes fun of me. He's like, I can see you're, you're watching people's face from a mile away. Nanny. Nanny. We'll nurse you in a second, okay? He just woke up from his nap, so he wants to nurse, of course. Ugh, I can't believe I got it on my eyelid again. Felix, do you know that you're going to be in this makeup video? Mama's makeup video? Makeup? Makeup? Oh. No. No? Do you want to show them how you put on makeup? Here. What do you do with this? What do you do with that makeup? <sighs> he like dabs it on his face because he's seen me doing it. This guy is going to know his way around a makeup table, let me tell you. Makeup bag. Okay, I think more mascara would look better, but I'm losing patience here. And I can't get up to get one with more in it. I have like three of these. And I don't know which one like is the new one. I need to just throw them away as I get new ones, but... I never learn. Okay. Good enough. Now I'm going to throw some lipstick on. I think this is supposed to be a matte lipstick, but I'm putting on over Aquaphor. I don't know how that's going to turn out. All right, I'm gonna go try to fix this eye thing because it just isn't tight. Because I feel like I should at least attempt to show you guys a finished look. But this is it. <laughs> okay, long enough. Um, let me go try to remove that line. It's not that visible. I'm not going to do it. Screw it. Oh, no mouth, please. All right, Felix. Can you say thank you for watching? Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, um, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments or suggestions, don't forget to comment down below. Um, no. I would love reading any sort of feedback that anybody has for me. And if no. you'd like to, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye.